Chicago is home to one of the biggest public works projects in the world. It's known as the Deep Tunnel or the Tunnel and Reservoir Plan. Construction began 40 years ago, and when it's finally finished, the tunnel project will be 130 miles long. Its price tag, $3.5 billion. The system is supposed to solve Chicago's worst flooding, but even this modern marvel may not be enough to fully protect the city. It's about 1,400 feet long and it's about 30 feet diameter. Just entering the massive deep tunnel system conveys a sense of what an engineering marvel it is. A 109-mile network of tunnels drilled through bedrock 300 feet below the streets of Chicago and its suburbs. Back in the 1960s, engineers conceived the ambitious project as a solution to the area's perennial flooding. Mariana Spiropoulos is the president of the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District of Greater Chicago, the agency in charge of the deep tunnel system, also known as the Tunnel and Reservoir Plan, or TARP. When we're having these really intense rainstorms, uh, it's, in, it's sort of uh, stressing the system. So the deep tunnel system, uh, the tunnel and the reservoirs, is created to alleviate that flooding. Just to give you an idea of the scope of this project, this is one of three giant reservoirs that will hold storm and sewage water. It's called the Thornton Reservoir, an old limestone pit south of Chicago. You could fit 12 soldier fields in here, 8 billion gallons of water. And when this is completed, it will be the largest reservoir of its kind in the world. During a major storm, a surge of raw sewage and stormwater would come barreling through this connector tunnel and fill the reservoir as much as 300 feet deep. That's an 8 billion gallon open sewer of murky water. To minimize the odor, floating aerators powered by solar panels will churn the cesspool, adding oxygen to the mix. Then during dry weather, the water will be piped to a wastewater treatment plant to be cleaned and then released. But the entire project won't be complete until 2029, not soon enough for flood-weary Chicagoans. From 2007 to 2011, the federal government and private insurers paid at least $660 million for residential flooding claims in the Chicago area. That works out to one out of six properties suffering water damage. To help explain why the Chicago area is so vulnerable to flooding, the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District put together an animated video. Most area homes and businesses are hooked up to a local sewer system which combines raw sewage and rainwater that flows into a larger intercepting sewer. During a heavy rain, sewers fill to capacity and the overflow pours into area rivers and Lake Michigan. TARP, or the deep tunnel system, is supposed to solve that. But even those massive 30-foot tunnels aren't enough sometimes, and raw sewage still ends up in area waterways. When the local sewer system gets overwhelmed, that's when those basement backups occur. To solve that problem, massive reservoirs have been built to take that excess water and hold it until the storms pass, allowing time for the water to be treated and then released. Margaret Frisbee, executive director of Friends of the Chicago River, says while the deep tunnel has improved water quality, urban development has paved over the region's natural ability to absorb rainwater, leaving it with nowhere to go but into the sewer system. So we've effectively put a plastic cover over the whole county, the whole region, and so we drive stormwater into the sewer system, and so it's clean rainwater that's now turned into garbage. And climatologists say changing weather patterns, including more frequent storms and heavier rains, could make the deep tunnel obsolete. When the system is finished over the next 14 years, it will have a combined capacity of more than 20 billion gallons. But that's still not enough. What happens when you get six inches of rainfall, uh, such as happened in uh, summer of 2013, is that something like 65 billion gallons of water uh, fall on Cook County in a very short period of time, and it has nowhere to go. Scott Bernstein, 
president of the Center for Neighborhood Technology in Chicago, says his group is pushing green infrastructure as the solution to ongoing flooding. For instance, green alleys that allow rainwater to soak into the ground. And rain gardens like this one installed at the home of Lori Burns in the Chatham neighborhood, which soaks up all the rain pouring off her roof. That entire basin is full. And the plants that live there really enjoy wet soil and they have really deep roots and the water just slowly infiltrates and goes where it's supposed to go instead of in my basement. Burns says her basement used to flood every time it rained hard, but since the rain garden was installed, she says her basement has remained dry. The added benefit is it's a pollinators garden, so you can see like butterflies and bees, they really love to come, eat, hang out. It's something that is a full circle benefit to both nature and to us as a family. Part of the reservoir opened last November. In its first months of service, it was filled to a depth of 17 feet and held about 400 million gallons of water. The third and final part of the project will be completed in 2019.